world is world that I'm a titan Hit him up with syllables inside this verse that can be tightened My ghost flow's got an ego and the truth I spit just frightens The world will admire my truth and when it does I'll be the best man This world needs a hero, the only ungrand hero What is going on YouTube, it is the big K Cops 360 here And pretty much the Kronos group had a meeting, like a presentation about, you know APIs, the state of the union as they like to call it, what's going on with the DX12, Vulcan, and more specifically Vulcan, I'm going to talk about Vulcan here. And pretty much, look, the guys at Valve, people, uh, the people who own Steam, you know, Lord Gayban, you know, uh, all them, those blokes, pretty much Dan Ginsberg from Valve went out and said that, look, Vulcan is the future. If you guys don't know what Vulcan is, it is an API, it's a lower level API, so they claim that you're going to get DirectX 12 like performance out of this API. Now, what is an API? It's pretty much what the game is built on. You know, the routines, the um, the instructions and what not to create the game. It's much more complicated than that, but I'm not going to get into it. Getting to the point, um, Dan Ginsberg, Big Danny, he's pretty much like, look, we're going to get what we get on Windows 10 with DirectX 12. However, Vulkan is better because it's cross-platform. You've got Vulkan on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, 8.1, Linux, Android. It's cross-vendor. NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, Qualcomm, Imaginary te Imagination Technologies, Samsung. All these vendors, they, they're pretty much going out and saying, look, DX12 is shit because it's Windows 10 exclusive. Now, of course... We need to stop there, because yes, it is Windows 10 exclusive, but let's be honest, guys, Microsoft has, I, I don't want to say Monopoly, but let's be honest, guys, it, unless you're on a Mac, you're on Windows, and if you're a gamer, you're most likely going to get Windows 10 to get DirectX 12. So, unless Vulkan really kicks off and a bunch of games start using Vulkan, then I don't know what's going to happen. Now, of course, the last video I did make did state and did stress, when is DX12 going to become mainstream? And it's definitely not going to be happening this year. So, if Vulkan can come out and you know, kick DX12's ass, then I guess that would be great because that means people don't have to upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, you, can, you can stick yourself in Windows 7 or Windows 8. I don't think there is compatibility for iOS, so I guess that's it, but come on guys, you shouldn't be gaming on iOS, but getting back to the point, he pretty much goes out and says, look, why not come to Vulkan, you should be using Vulkan as your API, game dev should be utilizing this, because obviously you're going to get the biggest market share, you're going to be, um, you're going to be, uh, what's the word, catering to a bigger market, because of course, uh, what what's Windows 10's market share at the moment, I believe it's like 16% or something like that, it's pretty good, but, like, with Vulkan, obviously, everyone's on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 still, so you're going to have a much bigger market. Um, however, we still yet to see performance numbers out of Vulkan. Like, I want to see Vulkan versus DX12. What is actually better? Because it's a new API. It's it's just, it's new, man. No one knows how it's going to perform. It's not like DirectX 12, where Microsoft has history with DX11, DX10, DX9, or whatever. This is pretty much something completely new, something we haven't seen before. And no one really knows how it's going to perform. No one knows if it's going to be reliable. I mean, sure, they have it on Linux, but is the Linux driver going to be good? I mean, we have DirectX drivers on Linux, and they're apparently shit. So, you know, how much money is going to be invested into Vulkan, we don't know. But a lot of people seem to be behind it. Obviously, if the Kronos group is behind Vulkan, it should be quite a big thing. But honestly, no one really knows. I mean, APIs at the moment are kind of in a gray area. We've got DirectX 12 announced, and a lot of people know about it, but no one really knows if we're going to be using it yet. The X11 is kind of just like there, and it's just being used on and on and on. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll look, look, I'll do what I did last video. Let's look up games that will support Vulkan. Uh, games that will support Vulkan. And let's see what comes up. Like, I, I really don't know if there's many games out there yet. I don't even think there's a list yet. But, um, is there a list? No, there is not. So, I, I mean, it's still being, like, worked on. It's going to be apparently finished at the end of 2015. So, yeah, I don't know. Pretty much, guys, though, Vulkan is kind of like an open GL. It's like a... It's... A <laughs> I want to say that, but it's it's weird. It's it's not really like that. I don't know. Look, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, comment down below what you think. Is Vulkan going to work, or is it just going to flop? Thank you, and goodbye.